Welcome to the Al Jazari channel, where you will learn capacity planning as a core operations management activity. In a previous series of videos capacity alternatives evaluation using the break-even analysis method is explained. If you wish to watch that video, click the above link. Here the processing requirement calculation is explained. To calculate the capacity requirements to process some products, the following pieces of information have to be known. Reasonably accurate demand forecasts for each product. The standard processing time per unit for each product. The number of working days per year. And the number of shifts that will be used. The above link is for a playlist explaining how to make the demand forecast. Let us solve an example. A department works one eight-hour shift, 250 days a year, and has these figures for the usage of a machine that is currently being considered as shown in this table. First, we need to find the processing time needed in hours by multiplying the annual demand of each product by its standard processing time per unit. For the first product, it is 400 times 5 equals 2,000 hours. For the second one, it is 300 times 8 equals 2,400 hours. And for the third product, it is 700 times 2 equals 1,400 hours. The total needed processing times equals 2,000 plus 2,400 plus 1,400 equals 5,800. Now calculate the annual capacity for one machine by multiplying the daily working hours by the number of yearly working days. It is given that the department works one eight-hour shift daily for 250 days per year. So, a machine's annual capacity equals 8 times 250 is equal to 2,000 hours per year. Finally, to determine the number of required machines to fulfill the annually forecasted demand, divide the total needed processing times by the machine's annual capacity. This is equal to 5,800 divided by 2,000 equals 2.9 machines approximate to unit equal to 3 machines. Consequently, three of these machines would be needed to handle the required volume. The same procedure can be used to help in decision-making as in the example that will be explained in the next video. So, stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, so press like and share it. See you again.